Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so Broly and Gogeta are finally here. We have done our summons. Uh, we have the 55% Broly. There's intro animation here. That's so good. We're rising out of the crate, I think. We re-watched the movie in the Discord like the night before the anniversary started. And uh, the animation is still so great for uh, Broly's Super Saiyan transformation. So we've got 55% Broly, we're running double Broly leads with a 55% friend, so we can just check them both out. We started with them both on the first turn, which is not ideal, but um, we've also had the friend one be sealed. So Broly, uh, good old AGL LR Broly, artwork is uh, very cool, the LR animation is awesome. Um, so he leads super bosses, transformation boost or full power for the 170. Gives an extra 30 to Exploding Rage or Movie Bosses. And then his 12 key super infinitely stacks attack, raises defense for one turn. And then his 18 key super is greatly raise attack, which is an infinite stack, and greatly raise defense for four turns. So that carries over, um, which is pretty good super attack effects. Uh, then we have the entrance animation. We get five key and attack and defense 100%, as well as a additional super attack for four turns. Attack and defense 150, guard, additional one key per key sphere obtained, additional 50% attack when performing a super, and 50% defense if it's an ultra super. Key two and gets an additional super attack as the first or second attacker in the turn, and then key six and an additional super and a high chance to do another additional super if he's in slot three. So really we should use an item here to get that other Broly unsealed, because he's gonna get that extra buff being in slot three. Um, and get a bunch of extra supers off potentially as well. So unfortunately the downside here, we only have fierce battle and legendary power with Zamasu. As you can see, not the best like starting rotation. Um, we can get the 18 key super for the friend Broly. I'm gonna start off by getting immediately supered in slot one as well. So <laughs> good times. Um, so let's see what he's taking here. Yeah, 252. This is the thing with Broly, right? Is Broly is not really a slot one unit, especially pre-transformation, but I mean, I guess on this rotation with Zamasu, we could have put Zamasu in slot one, but I wanted to at least get some of these links active. But Broly's biggest strength is, of course, the number of attacks that he's potentially going to be able to do um, whilst then stacking attack. So we're starting off straight away with the triple super. I've given my Broly no skill orbs or anything yet as well, so he's just straight up 55% level 1 links. Like freshly summoned, freshly awakened. And there you go, we got a 4 attacks in the first turn there. So post super, he's tanking everything per per uh, perfectly fine. And then obviously the friend Broly is going to get the uh, 18 key. At least he gets extra key when he attacks, right? Because we're only able to get 17 key with the Broly in slot 1. But then in slot one, he gets two extra key. And then the one in slot three would get six extra key. So it means you can, like, even if you only get 12 key for him, he's still going to do the 18 key super, which is good. And then in slot three, we have the chance to get all these extra attacks. It's also a pretty good design that the 18 key super carries over defense for four turns. Because by floating him off in slot three, he's not going to be back for four turns. But it means when he comes back on that turn, he's still going to have the defense buff from his uh, 18 key super. So that works out quite nicely. Do love that super attack animation for the 12 key from when he's just beating down Freezer. Uh, God Goku and God Vegeta uh, easy aid. Was it last anniversary or was it the seventh? It was quite a while ago. Oh, do you mean the actual like the duo, the anniversary like unit, they won't easy A until next year. Oh my god, what a rotation is this? Not not a good one is the uh, correct answer. Uh, do I unseal Kefla? It's quite early to be using the other Sensu Bean, but I feel like I probably should get the six orbs. Broly is one of those interesting characters. Someone in the chat said best build for Broly. He's one of those interesting characters where he can make use of like all of the hidden potential options because the 
pre-transformation, he doesn't have any crit chance built into his kit. But post-transformation, he does get crit chance. Um, and he already does loads of additionals already. Um, so, honestly, dodge is actually good for him. Especially in those situations like we had on turn one. Where you get into a situation where you have to put him in slot one. We didn't have to, but you have to put him in slot one. Um, but, yeah, I feel like crit is kind of wasted on him because once he transforms then he doesn't need it um, and obviously if you're running him on a team where if you're running him on a team where you're running double brolies only one of them can transform because his transformation is the domain ability as well and that's the other thing you have to be careful about so his domain let's put rose yeah, you get super saiyan fierce battle and prepared for battle um his domain ability is activated from the fifth turn from his entry turn and it transforms and creates the extra dimensional space domain so you can only transform one of them and then when the domain runs out you can transform the other one so but yeah bear in mind so start of the second turn we've got 317k that's carrying over the little bit of defense we got from the previous one so we're going to raise defense with every super remember his 18 key super is going to be the greatly raised, which is 50%. So we're going to go up to like 450. And then every super after that is 30%, which is about 100k. Every extra super gives him an extra 100k. Plus he gets 50% extra from his passive from doing an ultra super. So by the time he's gotten off a couple of supers here, even at 55%, he's going to be somewhere between 700 and 900k defense with guard. So that's pretty good. I'll do that. No orbs for Rosé, though. Unfortunate. Should have just been turn four go. Yeah, it's not... I mean, because that's the thing. It's from his first turn as well. So if he's on turn two, it means you can't transform until turn six. If he's on turn seven... Uh, if he's in slot seven, so he's on turn three, you can't transform until turn seven. Whereas if it was just turn five from the start of battle... If he was on turn three, he'd be able to transform, like, on his next turn. But, yeah, I mean, we're up to 6.2 just on additional 12 keys here. Because, remember, he is stacking attack with the with all of his supers. So, and then, yeah, we just tank for double digits with the guard. Very good. Yeah, unfortunately, Rosé probably not going to get a lot of attacks off here, considering we've got zero rainbow orbs for him. So probably won't finish him off. Yeah, all easy A's I think should be available. There's a good, very good way to get stones if there's any of the older easy A events that you haven't done. Because it's 30 odd stones for each one. So it always works out quite nicely. Um, well, let's keep Boo here for now, just for the buffs. Although, I don't really want... Again, I don't really want Broly in slot 1, but... Although we know a turn one Broly survived the super from this guy, so. So of course he did it again, but. But yeah, we are doing, uh, the game is going a bit slow. It's not unplayable. It's very slow at the moment though. Yeah, so once you've got a couple of stacks up, like, or at least if you've got that buff from like the four turns for the 18 key. Probably is uh, still not great for slot one, right? I mean, this boo tanks doesn't hit that hard. He's taking like 150k after the four turn thing. So. Yeah, see, he's doing like 7.5. 7.5 additionals. At 55% level 1 makes when he can do like 3 or 4 of those in one turn potentially. He's not here, unfortunately, but he can. Alright, so... Let's see. 
I want to get... I want to get the most turns possible out of the domain thing. So since we're about to kill him on this turn anyway, I might just do this. And then we'll use the domain with the other Broly. Because we'll finish off uh, boot tanks on this turn. Uh, boss, the new boss rush doesn't come out for like 10 minutes. And 71 on Rose. Got both Broly and Golden Freezer and 255 stones. Nice. Yeah, the first rotation getting the new unit and the banner unit. That's definitely a W. <laughs> Hashtag skip beast. I mean, I don't think many people are going to be on that train when things considered how crazy good he is. I mean, Gogeta's best link partners are usually just other Super Saiyans or Fusions for the most part, because they get the generic sort of fused fighter and all that kind of stuff, right? All right. Damn, we have lost a ton of health. So let's go ahead and transform with Broly. Transform and create the domain. Um, I think we can still take a lot of damage in slot one, though, is the problem here. But, I mean, Zamasu's thing is going to wear off now anyway. So, once Broly transforms into full power Broly, um, we get the 12 key is raise attack and defense for one turn, do colossal damage to all enemies. Uh, the 18 key is greatly raise attack and defense for one turn, mega colossal damage to the enemy. So it's only one turn, nothing carries over now, no stacks, but you are getting the bigger raises. Key 6, attack and defense 300%, guards all attacks. Additional key per key sphere obtained, 25% or sorry, 26% damage reduction before attacking when the domain is active. Then he gets an additional 50% attack when attacking, 50% defense when receiving an attack. Additional super attack guaranteed, chance to get a crit 26% when performing a super Launches another additional super and chance of performing a crit 26% when performing an ultra super. So as long as we're getting the 18 key super, he's got a 52% chance to crit and a guaranteed, uh, two guaranteed additional super attacks. And then you get another guaranteed additional super attack if your key is 24. Which with him getting extra key per orb, there you go, there's 24 key, like straight away. Um, so that's pretty good. So we'll see how much... Uh, we've got 26% damage reduction before we attack. As well as 400k defense and guard. So it still takes 91k. 16 million is his first attack stat here. Because remember, the friend is 55% as well. Um, and we basically just got Fierce Battle active on this turn. 11 million is the additional, okay. So 16 into an 11, and then he should be doing two more of those as well. Yeah, unfortunately though, like without any attack lowering on this on this turn, I'm not sure if, uh, I'm not sure what kind of damage Kid Boo is gonna take from Buhan. I think he has some of his extra damage reduction up already, but I'm not sure. Yeah, the normal crit for 600k. And Kid Boo does have big bad bosses. He only gets a 170 lead from Broly, though. So. Jamie doesn't raise defense on Super, but. 
Okay, nice. Yeah, Golden Freezer is technically farmable from the same free-to-play story event where you can farm the Broly's. There's that physical freezer that awakens into Golden Freezer. Um, you do have to farm a lot of medals to get their... Uh, to get each one awakened, though, which is kind of annoying. Alright, so... Should be able to get a... Uh, he lowers your HP as well, so you start off with one HP. Uh, we can't get the 24, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Rosé has more HP, so get the ring, uh, get the physical orbs with you. And do this. I mean, if he slot one supers Broly again, um, we already know he takes like 90k, but. Now Broly should uh, probably finish him off here. And yeah, that's the thing. With Broly raising defense repeatedly on all of his super attacks as well, like he ends up getting up to, at least even at 55%, like level 1 links, he's getting up to between 700 and 900k defense with guard. But then we get one shot <laughs> by right that's the only problem with this team build is having no hp recovery uh, i got very unlucky in the early turns but i mean there you go so broly probably not the best version of his team this is just our first look at him at 55 percent we are going to go ahead and uh, get his links leveled up very quickly so we can do more stuff with him at uh, full level 10 links i probably will do at least one more summon rotation on the banner to try and get freezer as well um, but yeah, that's him when the intro buff runs out as well, right? So less um, less defense overall. It's just one of those things that, as I said, even with his transformation, he has that little bit of damage reduction before he attacks, but he's not really a slot one unit. So this was the biggest problem um, that with him when he came out on JP as well, is his slot one capability is not great. And then with his team, like obviously we're running what is basically a full super bosses team with Kid Boo for the transformation boost, um, part of the leader skill. So Broly works really, really well on um, teams with other like Super Saiyans and stuff like that. With Rose having released and being the first super bosses leader for global, um, it's almost better to run if you want to run a super bosses team and run Broly, especially with the possibility for the who's going to transform and use their domain. Um, using Broly on Rosé's team um, because Rosé can you work decently well with the buff from Broly's domain without using his own transformation. Because um, the one thing we didn't mention is extreme class enemies and allies get 10% attack and defense, additional attack and defense 10% for characters who are on exploding rage or movie bosses. So Broly and Rosé get the buff from the domain. But funnily enough, extreme enemies get the buff from the domain as well. So, in terms of the actual domain effects, Rosé's is better than Broly's, because it buffs both of them, but it doesn't buff many of the enemies. Whereas, obviously, unfortunately for Broly, you have to use his domain to get him to transform. I mean, the same is true for Rosé, but Broly, Broly becomes way better when he's transformed, and obviously Rosé is still usable in his normal form with Broly's domain up. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. If you managed to pull Broly and tried him out, let me know your thoughts on him and your thoughts on the Super Bosses team build in general. I'm interested to hear what you guys think down below in the comments. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.